Over here we have ePod, which I pod over here is a uh, designated for our fans residents. And those are uh, family and needed services. Over here you see a phone on the wall where they get you to make one phone call every night to the parents while they're here. Here we have D, it's our segregation pod. This is where we keep our violent offenders, our felons, our anybody who have any kind of charges against another person would be in this pod over here. Make it D. Can I have three also? And you notice in D pod is gonna be different from all the other doors inside the facility. On here you have food tray slots. And the reason that is is so they can eat inside of the room. And inside the room they had their table and their seats inside of here. This is the only bedroom they have, it's the one they have in their rooms. Other than the one in the intake that has that area, they have to use the one they have in their room. Yes, they are. There's videos, cameras in every room inside the facility. And then we also have them located outside in the pods. What do they usually do in these pods? In these pods, uh, they can come out. We have a uh, time where they can rotate, and that's include doing uh, card games, puzzles. We have newspapers, we'll let them come out and read. The education department sometimes uses it to do schoolwork out here, depending on what their status is and can they be around other people. This would be an area where they do school. And there's no privacy when taking a shower. Uh, we have a shower curtain up, right here in the front of it. This is as much as the privacy you're going to get while you're taking your shower. This right here is the chase unit. They got to deal with the pump, the plumbing going from room to room. You'll see a lot of these smaller doors in between a lot of the cells because most rooms share a chase unit for the water in the sink, the toilet, and everything else in there. This is a C pot, which is for our sentence or adjudicated, whichever one you want to call male residents. We have them here. And uh, adjudicated is before the judge actually sentenced them to a certain amount of time in our facility. It also have on the wall in here, you see a television. And that's for education purposes only. So the teachers are used it a lot, but we, don't play just movies for them or anything like that. So that's for education purposes. The same thing they can do in d rotating, where you get the cards, the puzzles. Um, they do the same thing out when they out. But the only exception to that one is once you get into one of these pods, you're not by yourself. So you can actually rotate with other people after your, some moments is a 24 hour observation period. But after that time period, we put you into groups. So it's like a little bit more freedom, but not too much. And we walk over here. This is B pod, which is for the pre-adjudicated residents or pre-trial. And that's uh, before the judge give them any time and she give them another court date for their hearing. This is where they'd be housed at. And then I'm gonna walk through this one and I'll show you more of the pods on the inside. TVs on the wall, I was saying, for the education department. And then we have our right track posters, which is on every pie wall here. It's a program that we run with, along with the court side to uh, help deter them from coming back to our facility. This line, <laughs> it's a yellow and black line we like to have there for their protection and our protection. That way when my staff walk in, they should be no closer than that line to that door. But which we have every resident here to actually get up and get on the wall as soon as they hear the door open. It's a natural reaction to them. Now I'll take you outside to our rec yard. Can I get Bravo rec?
This is a uh, our recreation yard. This is where they'll come out for uh, all their physical activity while they're here, at least a majority of it, given that the weather is good. Uh, we have basketball goal, basketball court, which we just not getting our full court put in place now. Um, we have a Fayetteville PE teacher who's a uh, coach who come out here and do half of our exercise with them. So they take a lot of stress off of the staff here by him doing that. But they allow an hour of exercise every day while they're here. They had the duck detention facility over there, and we got to keep uh, sound and sight separation between the ducks and juveniles at all times. So that's why that's over there, so they can't see inside of here. Given that that's their parking lot on their side, there wouldn't be anybody over there anyway, but just in case for some reason they were out over there, we got it blocked off where you can't see. And I started back here because this is where the intake was started off at. They come through the door. We'll pet them down to make sure they don't have any kind of contraband or anything on them at that time. Once we pet them down, we will secure them to the bench by cuffing them to the bench. A staff member will sit here and question them, get a lot of basic information from them, addresses, phone numbers, guardian information, and uh, emergency contacts. Once we come from over there, you have to walk this way into our intake restroom. You go in here, this is where you'll be strip searched. Where you have to take all your clothes off, hand to my staff, we'll issue you new clothes that belong to us. And the whole time you're here, you'll wear our clothes and not your own. This is where everybody personal property go when they come here, since we take all that from them and issue them all our stuff, all their stuff will go inside of these lockers. While you're here, you get a wool blanket, a set of fitted sheets, and a set of, and a set of flat sheets. That would be it. And then uh, for those who residents we have who can't have sheets, they get one of these blankets right here. And all it is is a thick, hard green material. They got cushion in it, but that way you can't harm it. Can't harm yourself with it. I'm gonna try to fold this up and put it back. Somewhat. These are all the hygiene products that I get while they're here. We issue a new bag every time, but all it consists of is a comb. Well, a toothbrush, deodorant, and a comb. These are the things I have to get back from them every day while they're here. The other stuff in the bag is shampoo, toothpaste, and lotion packs. Those all be thrown in the trash and we replace that every day. But I can't have them losing any of these other three items. We gotta keep up with these. And the uniforms, they have two different colors here. We had those from the Senate, so our adjudicated ones. The ones the judge had already seen and gave them a certain amount of days to stay here will be in orange. Our fans and our pre-adjudicated will wear these blue ones. That way they can be separated and uh, they lower the chances of us getting them confused with another kid. Because they all, each group got their own colors. And down this hallway is straight into the courtroom. That's what they'll see the judge at. You walk straight out the pod, come straight down this hallway, be right to the courtroom. <laughs> 